hi guys welcome back to this space um in today's video we are going to be tackling some questions some past questions under the topic polygons okay and if you see any question that is about triangles in this video just know that a triangle is also a polygon it's a polygon with three sides so <laughs> let's go into the first question it says the interior angles of a pentagon pentagon is a polygon with five sides right five sides and the the interior angles are this 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 and this okay our value is given to us in terms of x and i told to find the value of x first of all you need to know the formula for finding the interior angle of a polygon and that formula is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 right and we are told that this is now equal to all of this okay so here we, here we add this up because when you add your angles together because these are giving us an angle six degrees here you should end up with um this value right so you have 2x plus 5 plus x plus 20 plus x plus 3x minus 20 plus x plus 15 okay and this one is um 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180 now let's let's break this down 2x plus x is 3x 3x plus x is 6x plus x again would be 7x 5 plus 20 is 25 25 minus 20 is 5 5 plus 15 um, is 20 so we have 7x plus 20 is equals to this one becomes 3 right 5 minus 2 is 3 3 times 180 um, should give us is it um, 540 so we have 540 is equals to 7x plus 20 if we subtract 20 from both sides we'll have 520 is equal to 7x and if we divide both sides by 7 here um, 520 divided by 7 should give us I made a mistake here 2x plus x plus x that's 4x plus 3x that's 7 and plus this one that's 8x so this is supposed to be 8x right so at this point we're supposed to be dividing by 8 dividing both sides by 8 sorry my mistake so 8 will cancel 8 and um 8 divided by 520 is just 65 so x is 65 which is option yeah 65 degrees which is option c uh, question number two is also about interior angle it says the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon with k sides is 3k minus 10 right angles okay let's let's um bring this into equation form the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon with k sides so instead of we have a value here maybe a number say 10 we are having value k right so that means that in this formula n minus 2 multiplied by 1 is a sum of interior angles this n will be replaced with k so you have k minus 2 multiplied by 180 and we are told that that sum is equal to 3k minus 10 right angles so say 3k minus 10 multiplied by 90 90 is uh, um, right angle right i know that 90 can cancel this one to give two so we are left with two open brackets k minus two <coughs> is equals to 3k minus 10 so um two this one open this bracket will have 2k minus 4 is equals to 3k minus 10 All right if i collect like terms i should have here 3k minus 2k is equal to minus 4 plus 10 so we have k is equal to 6 right so it means that this value and um, this um um pentagon sorry this polygon has six sides that means that is an hexagon right an hexagon now the question says find the size of the exterior angle okay. So now each exterior angle of the polygon is going to be equal to 360 divided by 6. That's 360 divided by n, but our n is 6, so we replace this with 6. That means that this is 60 degrees, which is option E. Is the height of an equilateral triangle of side. Um the height is 10 root 3, right? Calculate this perimeter. So um an equilateral triangle is something a shape, a triangle that has equal angles and equal sides, right? And we're told that the height, which is this value, is um 10 root 3 right so there's a formula that takes these two values into account that formula is h is equal to um a root 3 over 2 so a multiplied by root 3 over 2 and this one refers to the height and this one refers to the side of the collateral triangle right and we're told that that height is 10 root 3 so we can say 10 root 3 is equal to a multiplied by um root 3 over 2 this can become 20 root 3 is equal to a root 3 root 3 can cancel root 3 that means that our a is equal to 20 right so this side is equal to 20 and to calculate the perimeter it means that we're having 20 20 and 20 so we can see that perimeter is equal to 3 multiplied by a which is 3 multiplied by 20 which is 60 centimeter 
which we will have as option B. Our next question, question number four says, in the diagram XYZ, this is XYZ, it is produced to T, right? That means this line YZ is extended to point T. If XY is equal to ZY, that means XY is equal to ZY, that means this is an isosceles triangle. And this angle XYT, sorry, this one, XYT, one of the angles in the isosceles triangle is 40 degrees. Find the value of XZT. Now, this can easily be solved by using um, some of the angles on the line, right? It's equal to 180 degrees. But we don't yet know this angle. Now, we're given this angle. And this is an isosceles triangle. So let me draw it out here. This is an isosceles triangle that looks something like this. If this is angle 40 degrees and these sides are equal, what are these angles? They should be the same. Okay? So, we know that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180, is it not? 180 is equal to 40. Does this thing is always like the same? We can replace it with x, x, x. So this will be 2x. Okay? Now, if you subtract 40 from here, you have 140 is equal to 2x. That means that each x is equal to 70 degrees. So here is 70, here is 70. And if you add these values up, you should have 180. So if here is 70 degrees now, simply subtract this one from 180, right? And you end up with um 110 degrees here. You have your angle x, z, t is 110 degrees, which is option A. All right, this is our last question. And it says the exterior angle of a polygon is 22.5 degrees. That's one angle, right? One angle is 22.5 degrees. They should all be the same. It says find the number of the sides. Now, we know that the sum of angles of a polygon, some of the exterior angle of a polygon should be 360. The angle should up to 360 degrees, right? So that means that um, the number of the sides multiplied by one of this angle, 22.5, should give us 360 degrees. So if we divide both sides by n, sorry, by 22.5, right we should have our n which is the value for which is the number of the sides of the polygon which is what we are looking for if you punch this into your calculator without wasting much time you should have 16 sides so i ask you what is the name of this polygon that has 16 sides